Having congenital heart disease as a grown-up adult is a, um, a lifelong challenge, for sure. And uh, the care of congenital heart disease doesn't begin or end just in childhood. So the adult needs our care, needs our team, and needs ongoing care for their lifetime. As an interventional cardiologist, I also treat adults and provide them with alternatives in many cases for treatment to open heart surgery, for example, which allows them to get back on, uh, on their feet, get back to work, get back to their lives, um, be able to uh, fulfill their role as a parent, as, as a spouse, um, and to be able to lead better lives. I'm usually involved in the treatment of adult congenital heart, heart disease when the medical cardiologist finds something that, that definitely needs to be fixed. What a lot of people don't realize, and pa patients growing up with congenital heart disease as a child then become adults, um, that once they've had heart surgery as a child, their body changes, their body grows. And a surgery performed when they were, say, f two or three isn't going to end up with the same uh, types of, of uh, outcomes when they've grown all the way into adulthood. So this oftentimes poses a whole new set of problems many of which can be solved using uh, interventional catheter-based treatments. For example, uh, we can put in new heart valves, where a heart valve that was put in when the, when the patient was just a child has now worn out or they've outgrown it. We can uh, make blood vessels larger using special devices called stents. We can close residual holes that, that either reopened or weren't completely closed when they had surgery as a child. So this becomes an integral part of their care, trans, translating into adulthood because their care often hasn't been finished because now they're different, they've grown a lot, their bodies have changed, and there are new challenges. I've been doing, uh, involved in doing research on a number of key questions on how to treat some of these unique problems. For example, many patients in adulthood will present with a stroke, very scary thing to happen to you, especially if you're relatively young, you didn't expect it, you have a lot of uh, responsibilities, children, families, and a stroke can be very de debilitating. And one of the areas of research I've spent a lot of time on is how to prevent these uh, strokes from occurring, and they are, are related to congenital heart defects, many of which are not uh, readily recognized uh, in their general medical care. So uh, making advances, making patients, uh, lowering their risk and making them safer and having better quality lives is where that research is directed.